Hey, it's me. Could you, um, open the door for me? My hands are kind of full. Hey, dude. <laughs> yep, I brought an entire box of stuff. I thought we might not get another chance to sleep over like this, so I figured, why not make it a good one? Here, could you maybe take the other side, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. I should have warned you it was super heavy. You all right? You got it? boy. Come on. Let's haul the sucker to the living room. Oh, we're taking it to your room? Oh boy, that means we've got to go up some stairs. Well, time to make manly grunting noises whilst trying not to slip and fall to my death. Watch it. Okay. Okay. Lift on three. One, two, three. <sighs> Whew, there we go. Huh? Oh yeah, I sort of carried it most of the way here. Don't get me wrong, I had to take a few breaks on the way, but thankfully some girl I passed by offered to help me carry it part of the way, so that made the last few minutes of the walk a little bit easier. Still, I imagine I won't be able to feel my arms for a couple of days. Anyway, want to see what's inside? Yep, in one corner I've got my change of clothes and my night kit, in this corner I brought my console over as well as a few games and controllers, and in this corner I brought snacks for the two of us, and in the- OH CRAP! Sorry, I just remembered you weren't supposed to see that corner yet. Please tell me you didn't see it. Okay, good. Sorry for freaking out like that, it's just, well, that part is a surprise. God, I completely forgot I wasn't supposed to actually show you what's in that part of the box, but hey, at least you know the two most important parts of it. Video games and snacks. Oh, if you're not in the mood to game, we could just watch something. It has Netflix and YouTube on it, so we could just bring the TV into your room. Okay, cool. I'll get it hooked up. So, remember that series I never showed up about? I'd like to show it to you. I think you'll like it. If that's okay with you, that is. Okay, awesome. Oh, oh, be quiet for a second. This is my favorite part. <laughs> oh, the delivery of that line is what makes it so funny. It's like she's saying the most ridiculous things possible with the most stony and badass voice. Sometimes a well-written script and solid delivery are what can make or break a show, and in this case, it is most assuredly the former. So, do you have a favorite character yet? Hmm, yeah, I kind of figured you'd go for him. He's kind of the fan favorite, actually. Not complaining, though. He has some pretty iconic moments, especially in Season 2. Oh, me? My favorite is 100% Yari. They do a great job of making her a total badass, while at the same time giving her a very relatable and interesting arc. And if you watch her closely throughout the series, you'll actually see some unspoken details about her. Little ones, like how she slowly learns to channel her magic over time, and then later on turns that magic into- Oh, right. Spoilers. But she's also just really cute. Her character design is really attractive, but not to the point where it's just shameless fan service. They struck a very respectable balance with her. Huh? What? Did I say something wrong? Oh, I see. Is me simping over a fictional character making you jealous? <laughs> Ow! Okay, jeez, not the face. I need that for later. Oh, but speaking of which... How are things with you and your boyfriend going? Oh, don't act dumb. I saw you with a boy at the mall the other day. I was going to come over and say hi, but then I realized you two were holding hands. I kind of thought you guys might be relatives or something, but when I was walking home, I saw you two again sitting on a park bench, and... Um, you kissed him. And unless you're that intimate with a relative, the only conclusion today was your boyfriend. So? Um... Wait, are you okay? Did I see what happened afterwards? Um, no, I looked away and kept walking. I didn't want to get in the way. Oh. Oh. So he didn't feel the same way, I take it. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, if I'd known I wouldn't have asked. Hey, it's okay. If you didn't feel the same way, that isn't your fault. You told him how you felt, and he just didn't feel the same way. It hurts, believe me. 
I know, but it's nothing against you. It's him. Aw, uh, now you're crying. Come here. Shh. It's okay. Let it out. Let it all out. But don't blame yourself for it, okay? It's not your fault. I know, I know. It hurts. I know. Go ahead. There we go. That's it. Hmm? Oh, don't say that! There's a boy out there for you. I know there is! He's out there, waiting for his chance to tell you how he feels, so please, don't ever stop searching. Because you're such a wonderful and amazing person, and you deserve all the happiness that life has to offer. So, please just don't give up yet. He's waiting for you. How can I be so sure? Because... Because... I have a feeling, okay? Yeah, a feeling. So keep your head up, okay? He's out there, waiting for you. He might even be closer than you think. <laughs> It's good to see you smile again. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to get so... personal. How about we just leave relationships and all that fluff alone for the rest of the night? Sound good? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm uh, getting kind of hungry. Hungry for actual food, not just snacks. Can we stop for a ten minute food break? Alright, sounds good. How's your cooking coming along? You get any better since last time? Hello? Did you not hear me? You sure you're okay? You seem distracted. You're fine? Are you sure? Okay then. So, like I said, how's your cooking coming along? Okay, okay. Well, keep in mind there's always room to improve, but that doesn't mean the progress you've made thus far is irrelevant. Me? Yeah, I'm still working on it. Cooking takes a lot of money and patience, but hey, you'll need food for the rest of your life, so might as well learn how to make it properly. You have leftovers? Yeah, I guess that'll do. I don't really feel like washing dishes tonight anyway. You know, I'm... Kind of sad we don't get to do this more often. Like, spend time with each other, I mean. What with work and other stuff eating up our time. I can't even remember the last time we got to hang out like this, much less have a sleepover. It must have been a pretty long time ago. And sleepovers are more things that kids do. We kind of outgrew it a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I just want you to know that I haven't been hanging out with you because of my busy schedule. It's not because I don't like being around you or anything like that. Far from it. You're like my best friend. Hmm? <laughs> what? Did the term best friend bother you? Okay, how about closest acquaintance? <laughs> my most trusted confidant? Mamaine squeeze. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll stop, I'll stop. The point is, I'd hang out with you more if I could. Yeah, really. If Rub to me, I totally want to live with you. Um, um, is there any orange juice in the fridge? Thanks. <sighs> okay, I can't take it anymore. I'm off to bed. Yeah, sorry, I'd love to play a bit more, but... I'm fighting to stay awake. I'm going to change into my pajamas. Hmm? What am I doing? I'm laying on a makeshift bed for me. What is it? Um, you're mumbling. C can you speak up a bit? Oh, you want to share a bed? No, 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 you're fine. Sure, I don't have a problem with that. Are you sure you don't? Ah, uh, fair enough. Okay. Hmm, you have a 
a pretty big bed. Up until now, I've always wondered how cozy it was, and believe me, this thing looks super cozy. And it is. And, um, it helps that I get to sleep beside you. Never mind. You didn't hear it, it doesn't matter. Good night, then. Too? Sorry, I didn't realize you were still up. Have you gotten any sleep at all? No? Wow, you must be quite the insomniac. Hey, um, are you cold? Why do I ask? Well, I thought you might have gotten cold or something while you were trying to sleep since you're kind of leaning right up against me as if you're trying to keep warm. No, don't pull away. I don't mind. Hey, um, can I, can I tell you something really secret? I don't know how you'll react, but, well, I need to get off my chest to someone and I trust you more than anyone else. Promise you won't tell anyone? Pinky promise? Okay. So, you remember Catherine, right? The girl I used to have a crush on? Well, as it turns out, she already has a boyfriend. I was going to confess to her, but when I found her, she was walking home with Aiden. So, any chance I have with her is basically gone now. And it kinda hurts. A lot, actually. But that's not what I wanted to tell you. Remember earlier when I told you I saw you at the mall with that boy? Yeah, sorry for bringing that up again even though I said not to, but bear with me, please. I was at the mall because I was going to return the gift I bought for Catherine, and that's when I saw you walking with that guy. And when I saw you kiss him at the park later on, at that moment, I felt so... I don't know... Devastated? Jealous? Angry at myself? At the time, I thought maybe it was just because I was feeling down about Catherine. But... Well... The more I thought about it, the more I realized it wasn't that. Seeing you kiss that guy... Made me so... Sad. I felt like... I'd let you slip away. And I didn't know why at first. I mean, hey, who cares if my best friend found someone that makes them happy, right? Good for him. Be happy for him. That's what I tried telling myself, but that, that, that wasn't it. Not exactly. I was sad because I didn't want... I couldn't stand... I couldn't stand the thought of you being with another guy. My heart couldn't accept that. I couldn't accept that. So, what I'm trying to say is, I've thought about it. I've thought long and hard, and I've realized that I have feelings. I have really strong feelings for you. Yeah, I know. I thought I was straight, too. For the longest time, I felt that way because I only ever developed feelings for a girl. But it turns out, I've got feelings for you, too. I guess I've been by this whole time and didn't even know it. So, I hope this doesn't make things too awkward between us. If you don't feel the same way, it's fine. I completely get it. I just wanted you to know the truth. I don't want to hide who I am, and I think this is a good place to start showing the real me to everyone. But whether or not you feel the same way, all I ask is that you at least let me keep being your best friend. You're really important to me, and I don't want to lose what we have. Hmm? What? You have feelings for me too? 
I... I'm actually crying now. You've just made me really happy. Oh my. Oh, a hug? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god. Am I dreaming? If this is a dream, it's a pretty mean one. I'm going to be incredibly depressed if I wake up and this was all a dream. It's not? Hmm. Okay. I believe you. You'll prove it. How? Uh, uh, hey, you're holding my face in your hands now. No, it's okay. It feels pretty comforting. You're leaning in. Hey, morning. I just sleep. Yeah, we're in the same bed. Do you remember anything from last night? Well, I, for one, had the weirdest dream last night. It was about you. And me. But mainly you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, I just had to. No, it, it wasn't a dream. It was real. I told you my secret. And then we cuddled, and then we ca Hey, why do you look so embarrassed? Sweetie, come on. It's totally fine. We were both tired and kind of acted on impulse, but I'm glad we did. Because... We both found the courage to show the real us, even if just for a moment. And thanks to that, I feel like we've taken a kind of step forward. But... That aside, I think there's one other thing we need to discuss. What is it? Here, let me take your hands. Look me in the eye while I do this, okay? <clears throat> my best friend, my closest acquaintance, my most trusted confidant. My main squeeze. <laughs> and... The boy of my dreams, will you do me the great honor of allowing me to call you my boyfriend and go out on a date with me? You will? <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm not supposed to do that until the second date, but I got feelings. I want to show them. And since you agreed to it, I can show you this. Yep, the mystery item in the box. Here it is! Yeah, it's a matching set of hoodies. One in your size, and one in mine. We can wear them together now. You know, like a couple. Try it on. Oh, yeah! You look so cute in that! We look super cute together. Hey. Thank you. For being you. Keep doing that, okay? Being yourself. Never change that about you, because that's what makes you so lovable. Now how about we get some breakfast? Sound good? Okay. <laughs> 